Yeah, certainly as a head coach here, you um, obviously know about his history and his legacy, uh, you know, the kind of player that he was here. Um, and we definitely you know, certainly recognize that and uh, obviously extend our sympathies to, to his Lincoln, after all the uncertainty this week with Bear and then today the news that Jason Zendemal is entering the transfer portal, I'm curious from your standpoint as a coach during, during this transfer portal NIL time, how much harder has it gotten even just in that short amount of time just to retain players and to have to work to retain players, especially when you have a freshman offensive lineman who hasn't been here long that decides he wants to leave? Yeah, I mean, Zendemal was... was... I don't want to speak for him, but I mean, he's got uh, a, a very unique background, and that played a large part in this. Um, Bear, I don't know, there wasn't really any talks or anything. Bear's, Bear's doing fine. So, um, those two instances I don't think are examples necessarily of your question. I, I okay. certainly get your question. And, and, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, every, every kid's different uh, in this age. Every, every, um, you know, every set of parents is different. You know, you understand that. It's just, it's just part of what we deal with now. And, uh, so I don't, I don't get too, you know, overly emotional one way or another when we have have a guy that's you know, thinking about moving on. Um, you know, this is not going to be the right fit for every single player. Like we get that. That's a, this is a special place. Um, it's a hard place to. Um, you can't make somebody fit here. Uh, and, and that's okay. That's, that's not a problem. It's just for us kind of on our continuous journey to find the best team and find the right fit, and that's what we're going to keep doing. Do you find yourself spending more time just generally yeah. on retention and convincing guys to stay? Just I would say as much convincing. I mean, I think you're having – you're having conversations sometimes a little bit earlier, like we're, you know, in past years, maybe these would happen more like completely after spring, but, you know, with the transfer portal, you find yourself having, you know, some more big picture conversations with these guys to, you know, discuss what you see in them as a coach, what you see, you know, potentially a role being both now and in the future. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, this is USC, like you're not going to beg people to be here. Like this is, I mean, for every guy that leaves here, there's going to be a line of a hundred people that would die to take that spot in a heartbeat and so um, you know we certainly we certainly want to do a good job retaining which part of that is evaluation in the first place uh, but we understand it's not going to be a hundred percent and when it's not uh, we wish those guys the best and we're kind of on to the next with, with jason moving on would you look to move a guy to center or do you feel good with jonah and killy in there right now oh i feel good with jonah, jonah and killy and are we're, we're way way ahead i mean that's you know, jason wasn't a factor to play this year for us um Player, but it's you know a long ways away from being ready to help us. So yeah, we'll we'll certainly uh, you know be be looking into the, the portal to hopefully you know and we will replace that spot and um, off we go. How did the conversations unfold with Mayor this week? Really wasn't that many conversations. I don't know. I know there was a bunch of stuff on the outside. I know he felt the need to uh, to address it just because there was so much um, on the outside, which can kind of start anywhere and everywhere this day and age. But I mean, kind of like they are every other week. Honestly, I mean, just checking in with him. He's been he's been a little injured out here. Nothing crazy, but hasn't been able to go full going practice, and that's been tough for him because he's dying to. He's dying to be out there with his teammates. He's, you know, excited to get coached by by, by Henny and by Sean and develop and learn this new defense. And so, you know, it's it's probably the biggest thing with him right now is just dealing with the frustration of not being healthy and wanting to be out there with the guys. And that's honestly been about the biggest thing. With Bear, where do you feel like his biggest area of growth needs to be over spring and into summer? Well, he's learning, like all these guys, I mean, he's learning a new system um, and, a, and, and really, a, obviously, a very different way of playing the position than what we did a year ago. And so he's going to have to adapt and learn uh, uh, learn that like all of our defensive linemen are. And then, and then I think for him individually, it's, it's a battle of consistency. You know, there's obviously fl flashes of being a really good player, but the great ones, it's less flashes and it's more consistent. And he certainly, he has that ability. Um, the other thing area we challenge him to grow is, is to continue from the leadership side. Um, he's got, uh, he's got a great heart. Like he really, I think he's really more invested in this team uh, than maybe at any point last year where he was just kind of getting in. It was just a rush to learn it and to be ready to play. 
you know, he's grabbing young guys, bringing them over to his house. He's trying to, he's trying to really push. He's, he doesn't want to just be a good player. He wants to leave a mark on this place. And so we've been certainly helping that journey along, and he's been very eager. I think I know Isaiah and Nate, people you brought in the line earlier in the offseason. Do you want to target that position again in the spring quarter window? We might, um, you know, we might. We'll, we'll, we'll certainly kind of look and evaluate spring. I mean, I think that's one of your one of those positions that you never, you know, going to completely shut the door on. Um, and some of it's going to be the opposite the development of the young guys and where they feel that we're at. And uh, so, um, you know, I wouldn't say no, but it's not. I don't know that it's necessarily like offensive line right now. Where we're obviously going to have to go, um, you know, go make a couple. Moves. Let's do one more. A few weeks into the, the you know, spray, you can't just, you know, that you're going to have to probably do the portal on offensive line, maybe the defense line, any other positions that you guys are kind of looking at and potentially areas of need or, or to add, you know, a player or two here and there? Um, There'll be a couple, but I would say O line right now is the one that's that's really for sure possibly possibly wide out just with the low numbers. Thank you, Coach Riley. All right.